Welcome to Skyblock TV News. My name is Peter A. These are the news headlines. Enugu raises alarm over his mandate. Enugu governor elects Sitamba and his deputy if on your side. This is governor if I'm going. Serious presidency, Audio Zokano, a perfect piece, says the Niger Delta Peace and Development Advocate. Battle for National Assembly Leadership or stop. Chiefs to APC, National Working Committees. A pick court affirms Adeleke as Ocean State Governor. I have no regrets supporting APC in a body. I impel PDP over suspension. Nigeria Air to fly before May 29. These are news and details. The president elects, as what you will let go, has raised alarm over alleged plots by some aggrieved politicians to truncate the transition process, particularly his expected swearing in on May 29, 2023. Tinibu, in a statement by the spokesman of the presidential campaign council, Festus Kayamo, also warned the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDC, allowed the Atiku Apuka Abubaka and that of the Labour Party, Mr. Tipodi, against taking to the streets while also pursuing their cases in court. In the statement issued Saturday in Abuja, the president elect noted that those who are taken to the street protesting against his mandate have existed on having an entire national government. The, gov the statement raised in fact we have watched in great concern the condemnable activities of some persons and groups who are desirous of truncating our democracy. For reasons best known to them, these persons have remained embittered that as Swazio Balatinebo was declared winner of the 2023 general elections. Repeatedly, but unfortunately, these misguided individuals have called for either the cancellation of the result or that the president elect should not be inaugurated on 29th of May 2023. Any governor elect, Peter Amba, and his deputy, Ipan Yosai, visited the government house to thank the leader of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Governor Ipan Yosai immediately after the announcement of the results. And what could be described as the first public outing after his declaration, Mba paid a thank you visit to the to jubilant Enugu indigenous as supporters of the People's Democratic Party who occupy independent regional electoral commission INEC headquarters in Enugu State. Demanding the announcement of the March 18 governorship election results collected from the 17 local government area of the state by the INEC State Attorney Officer, Madu ABC Duo. Niger Delta Peace and Development Advocate have again reiterated their call for the presidency of the 10th Senate to be zoned to the Southeast. A statement by the president of the body, Comrade Kevin A. D. Thomas, said the call has become imperative for carrying the people of the Southeast along in the scheme of things. According to the statement, the call is coming at a time when the Southeast can boost of a ranking senator in the mood of Senator Ojus Okalo. The Court of Appeal, sitting in Abuja, on Friday, vacated the tribunal judgments that nullified the election of Governor Ademola Adeleke of Ocean State. The appellate court, in an anonymous decision by a three member panel of judges, held that the appeal Adeleke lost to challenge his sack by the Ocean State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal was meritorious. Aside from setting aside the judgment of the tribunal, the court, a lead judgment that was delivered by Justice Mohammed Lawa, awarded 500,000 naira cost against the All Progressive Congress, APC, and its candidate, Moyega Oyetala. Former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator Ayin Payos has told the National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, that he had no regret whatsoever to have supported the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the Boy State to win the governorship of the state. Ayin explained that he was compelled to support the APC candidate because the National Working Committee blindly imposed the gubernatorial candidate from a boy south senatorial district, where the outgoing governor, Omahi, has come. He stated that the imposition of a southern candidate on the state negated the principle of power rotation in the state. The former Senate president spoke on Friday while reacting to his recent suspension by the National Working Committee of the party.
The minister of Sirica gave the assurance in Abuja at the National Aviation Stakeholders Forum on Thursday. The assurance comes amid an unvacated order of interim injunction issued by local airlines, which restrained the federal government and other parties from executing the proposed national carrier. Justice A. Lewis and Lagan, after consideration of the application and submission of counsel to the plaintiffs, under the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakar Malabi, and other defendants, to hold all plans pending the determination of the motion of notice. For more on this, visit us on skyblasttv.com. Our Facebook handle is skyblasttv live. Like us on Twitter at Skyblast TV. Like and follow us on TikTok at Skyblast TV Plus. You can also watch us live on YouTube at Skyblast TV. My name is Peter A. Thanks and keep watching Skyblasttv.com.